Greetings, my esteemed Laddingtons. First and foremost, shout out and thank you to my gallant supporter Jan for gifting me this game. Much appreciated indeed. Now I have just come back from a good old grappling session and I will explain the importance of um, training before uh, gaming. But uh, before I do so, I will just introduce the new DLC, the Sisters of Twilight. I actually remember these two uh, twin sisters from uh, back in the day. So it's nice to see that they are now in the game. So they are the Heralds of Ariel. That's the faction. So without further ado, I thought to get into the game and we'll just have a look. So here we go. Start campaign. Boom. Even the fierce defenders of the Wood Elf Kingdom cannot safeguard their realm from the disorder of the Great Vortex. In the forests of Nagaroth, a portal to the Dreaming Wood grows thin, where beyond, demons of age. The forest grants Queen Ariel a dread vision of ancient trees blackened and broken, of countless wood elves slain upon their twisted boughs. For should chaos breach from their realm, the world roots will carry the demons to the very heart of Athelorin. Only Ariel herself can seal the dire portal. So sends her most trusted to cleanse the forest ahead of her arrival, unaware that a vengeful enemy watches. The Twilight Twins, Nistra and Arahan, a deadly fusion of dawn's serenity and dusk's fury. They will not waver in their perilous quest. The Mage Queen, vulnerable for the first time in eons, but her hidden foe dare not strike directly. A terrified Skaven is persuaded to lure their twisted overlord to this cause. Shrot, master mutator of Clan Mulder. How he yearns to be free of his unnatural, undying hunger. Ariel's pouch remains would be a certain remedy. A queen's implacable guardians oppose a creature of chilling madness. A brutal war is unavoidable. The fate of the forest, undecided. Alright, absolutely epic introduction as always, and um, the voice of the advisor. Perfect for the role, so... Um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And before you, you see some classic Wood Elf aesthetics. Certain primal fury to them. That is, um, as always, captured my imagination. It is good as stuff. our mistress says, Arahan. The weave here is dangerously out of balance. Yet there is much prey. Glorious. This is no game, sister. We must prepare for Ariel's arrival. Purge the Witchwood's darkness, restore its ancient glory, strengthen the weave, etc., etc. You handle the details, Nestra. I'll handle the slaughter. Cease this childishness. If Ariel cannot seal the demon portal, annihilation awaits. Don't be tedious, sister. You know I will never fail our mage queen. At least these glades are rife with foul greenskins and beastmen to hold your quarrelsome interest. Not to mention the Druki fools. I so enjoy hunting those. Then, for the future of our people, we must commence the cleansing, sister. For the Weave! For Ariel! For Athel Lauren! The very presence of these emerald horrors imperils our mission, Arahan. Don't be so coy, sister. Just come out and say, let's kill thousands of orcs. What matters is cleansing the settlement of threat, 
not your wearisome bloodthirst. All right, good stuff. I um, I do like the aggressive sister. Bonus point because she said glorious in the introduction as well. So uh, yes, they have um, different roles to play as Serene the. Tempestuous Arahan. Yes, exactly. There are uh, one calm sister and one more aggressive one that uh, balance out each other, I suppose. So anyway, I uh, thought to use this. We're in Nagaroth, the homeland of the Dark Elves. I want to talk a bit about something of utmost importance. Now, of course, this isn't really something new, but I wanted to share the fact that I was quite excited to play some good old Total War again was uh, I haven't played in um, well since early summer so um, yeah I had um, looked forward to it and I felt that it would be a good opportunity to do so when this DLC came out and I also thought I need to earn it so of course I can't just play without some good hard training so therefore I decided to do some grappling beforehand so some good old technique rolling etc and this is also the attitude you must have when you approach gaming it becomes more fun to game when you have earned it uh, also because of strictly biological reasons you know you feel better when you've trained you can relax with a game if you only are seated gaming all day um, or if you are working uh, you know, a lot by the computer. If you sit down a lot, it won't feel good to sit down even more. So be sure to train hard, then game. I promise you the gaming itself will be much more fun, much more rewarding. So find a balance. Now, anyway, speaking of Warhammer, Total War, we are here in the Witchwood and they have put in a good few mechanics. I'm not going to go into the details because this isn't really a video about that. Um, I mainly wanted to have a look at the, the faction and... Uh, the forest is whispering. And I also wanted to express my admiration for the wood elven aesthetics. I have always had a certain skepticism towards guys who uh, do not like elves. We shall unearth great relics. So what we can actually do, this, uh, this orc the Sisters of Twilight! We can actually initiate End a little uh, battle. Right. The enemy bring reinforcements to the fight. Will an attack be wise? Uh, yes, because we I need to... Um, I need to make a good episode for my esteemed subscribers. So, um, I need to. And then I have to make sure to win as well, so I don't make a fool out of myself with my subpar strategic skills. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle. Excellent. Aha, we have a Here, wizard. Everywhere. We can gamble. Let's see if we have uh, can get some more magic. No. Gambling never pays. Okay, that's the lesson for the day. Hand of the forest. Now let's... Uh, Be sure to position your troops accurately in battle, my lord. Drag out your formations for best effect. Bringing harmony! Yaha, this is actually not a dragon. I suppose they will get the dragon at some later stage. Alright, let's try to... Uh, Sisters of Twilight! Let's try to mug this... Um, Immediately! I... This bastard. Quickly! I have some good old glade god. Yes! Trying to take this good position here. Hopefully the orcs will um, the see they run uphill. Hopefully they can spend some stamina in doing so. Eternal God. Some Quickly. eternal god, quite good if I'm not uh, completely yes. mistaken. Quickly. And then look at this damn high uh, high thumos aesthetic stag cavalry. have some hawk riders as well. Um, Fear the deep wood. I do not have overly much um, experience. Yeah. The high ground is yours, Commander. Be sure to use it to best advantage. Well, thank you, yes. 
um, yeah, I'm not the most experienced playing with the Wood Elves, but uh, I suppose they're the enemy waver, my lord. similar true. enough to the High Elves, which um, I would say is my um, my favorite faction. We're gonna send off a volley of Kurnos, and Kurnos being basically the same as the Celtic god um, Kerenunos. I think they have taken it from the Celtic mythology. So, um, yeah, it's not only fantasy, the Warhammer world is deeply inspired by um, history and mythology. Talon of Dusk, okay. Let's, uh, aha, it's too different there. And this is better for uh, infantry, which is, uh, these orc boys are, of course. Oh, I uh, made an, a noob mistake. These are supposed to be uh, supposed to done. charge, not to just stand there. We have Crixus. Ah, that's a nice touch. Crixus, the uh, like the gladiator. The enemy attack your flank, commander. Drive them off. Okay, so. Let's try to let's try to charge something for for the lols. That's what we can do. And now what I will try to do is try to get a nice rear charge of some sort. Unless they turn. Let's see. Let's see what uh, Look at that. That's how it goes. When you try to defy the will of um, the deep wood. Dauntless Asrei. Dauntless Asrei. I salute the um, salute that saying. Dauntless Asrei. Now I will cycle this out so they can charge again. And when they charge again, I hope they can break the enemy. Your warriors tire, mighty lord. Their exertions dull their ability to fight. Now, give them time to rest, even amidst the thickest of battles. There will be no rest at all. They need to train their cardio. Bowman, ready. We understand. And now I will take these guys to the rear so they can shoot straight in. Ah, they are already shooting straight in. Um, good stuff, good stuff. The enemy commander runs from the field, my lord. And a sorry spectacle it is too. His army will surely fall. Indeed, indeed. It is a sorry spectacle. So here we have a mage. And she has... Wissens wild form, if I pronounce that correctly, which basically makes her tougher. Um. Okay, cool. Uh, that was a good battle. I will end it. A close victory. So that is how a battle in Total War can look. Uh, perhaps not overly exciting. You know, the most exciting ones are when you have gotten into the game a bit and uh, maybe have a siege battle victory or something. Victory is yours, my lord. But what about the fate of those captured in battle? It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality can be worth more. Alright, so we can choose her. Ariel here. grants clemency. Um an arrow in the head. <laughs> I um I will go with the uh, the aggressive sister. I um I think she's more uh, High Thumos, so... Serene Nestra, Defeating this army Arana. has benefited the local forest. To help it heal fully, ensure that the surrounding regions are controlled by you or an ally. Or simply raise them. Hostile borders will always cause a forest to suffer. That is noted. Okay, so the that's that actually... serve your cause gain experience over time, my lord. Be sure to guide their development to your advantage. Itching for how I enjoyed battle. that. 
You have gained experience <laughs> right. and may now develop your skills accordingly. See for yourself. Indeed, indeed, but I will actually not do so at the moment. Instead, I will just say that if you have a, a wood, you need to to conquer the surrounding areas to optimize the hypertrophy you can get when uh, praying in the Temple of Iron. Um, okay, not really, but uh, it felt like saying something like that. Anyway, I uh, just thought to give you a quick look. I also just wanted to give uh, yet again mention my philosophy when it comes to gaming. You know, you should incorporate it into an otherwise active lifestyle. And again, I can promise you it does feel better to game when you have you know, exerted yourself physically. Um, so anyway, good stuff, good stuff. I will um, not make any more Let's Plays on it because, well, time is short and I want to make some other epic videos incoming. But thank you for watching nonetheless and uh, have a great rest of your evening or day or um, whatever it might be. XXO, boom!